Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to install a memory card on the Samsung Galaxy A25. And I wanna show you some helpful tips for after you install a memory card, how to manage your storage properly, okay? So here I'll be using a Samsung memory card, 128 gig card, and I'll link on screen to a similar one as well. I just wanna give a quick note, make sure you don't use cheap memory cards because cheap memory cards could literally just stop working out of nowhere and you'll lose all your data. So buy quality brands, Samsung, PNY, SanDisk, Seagate, you wanna to stick to the main name brands. Those tend to be made with better quality and should be much durable and should last much longer. Okay, so if you still have the, the box your phone came in, you'll have this little tool, it's called a SIM tool, and we're gonna use this to pop out the SIM card. If you don't have this, no problem, go grab a paper clip and simply bend it back, and you can use that to take the tray out. On the left side of the phone, you'll find the SIM card tray. Simply insert the tool. There's a little hole on the side, and just give it a good push. Your tray will come out, and you'll just slide it out just like this. In the first slot, you'll have the SIM card for your, your phone service. And then the larger slot is for the memory card. Take the memory card and you'll line it up in the slot and it should fit nice and snug. A good test is simply take it and tilt it to the side. And if it doesn't fall out, you should be good to go. However, if it falls out, you need to give it a little bit more of a push so that it's fitting nice and snug in the tray, just like this. Put your other SIM card back in there and you'll simply insert it back in and it should go right in just like that. Now, as soon as you insert it, if you swipe down from the top of the screen, you should have a pop-up right here. It says SD card inserted. And this is letting us know that the phone is reading the card and it's accepting it. If you don't see this pop-up, then you have an issue, okay? So you wanna look for that pop-up and you can tap on the drop-down arrow to the right, tap on that and then tap open. And this will take you right to the file manager and you can look at all the files that are on the memory card. Now, this is a memory card that I've used in multiple phones. So I already have files on here. As you can see in this folder, there's 15 items. There's three here. So um, again, this is just me double checking that the phone is reading it and I can access the files. Now, if you wanna check exactly how much storage you have left on your memory card, you're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on the settings wheel in the upper right corner, swipe up and find device care. And then here, you're gonna tap on storage. Now, one thing to pay attention to at the top here, it says internal storage. And right now it's actually reading all the storage. So it's showing us we have 20% of the internal storage used. Now, if you swipe right in this section to the left, this will switch you to the SD card. So now we can see exactly how much total storage we have, which is 128 gigs. And of that 128, 71 gigs are already used up. So that's why it says the card is 55% used. It'll also give you a breakdown so you can see how much of that is images, videos, audio files, and documents. So you can easily go to this section to check and see how much storage you have left on your memory card. Now, the next thing you'll wanna do is go to the camera app. And when we go here, it's gonna give us a pop-up just like this, and it says, change the storage location to your SD card. And this is the phone asking you, do you want your pictures and videos to be saved to the memory card versus your internal storage? You definitely wanna hit change. And uh, now, every time we take a picture or a video, it's going to save to the memory card. This is gonna free up your internal storage you definitely, definitely want your pictures and videos to go to the SD card because if your internal storage is full, your phone will begin to slow down much faster. So you wanna really keep your phone storage freed up for apps and things like that. Now, the very last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to back up all your data to a memory card. Now, you don't necessarily wanna back it up to this memory card. What I actually recommend is that you buy a separate memory card and you back up all your data to that card, then you take it out of the phone and you leave it in a drawer. The reason I say that is if you ever lost your phone, 
you would lose a lot of your files. This way, all your your data would be backed up on a memory card. This is a good practice to do once a month or once every other month, depending on how often you take pictures. Let me show you the process. It's super easy. We're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on the settings wheel. You're gonna swipe up and find the accounts and backup section. And from here, tap on transfer data for device setup. And it's gonna take you to the Samsung Smart Switch app. Press more, press continue, press more, allow. And now we're in Samsung's proprietary transfer app. Now normally you would use this app to transfer data from an older phone. You also use it to backup data to a memory card. Now unfortunately my phone is only on 7%, so I can't show you the entire process. Your phone needs to be on 30% or more to be able to do the backup but I will walk you through what to look for and how to initiate the process. First, you're gonna tap on the memory card in the upper right corner. From there, it's gonna ask you what items you want to back up and you simply will select the all button or you'll check all. And after that, it will begin backing up all your data. So your call log, your text messages, your pictures, your videos, your phone settings, it'll back it all up to a memory card. And after that, you'll simply just take that memory card out, stick it in a drawer, and then put in another memory card that you can use to uh, use for your day-to-day -day use, okay? Now, obviously, this will only back up the data that's on your internal storage. It won't back up all your data, but either way, it's still an easy way to back up the data on your phone and to have a copy in the event that you lose your phone, all right? Now this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys did find this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. I will link on screen to my playlist with all my other A25 videos, so check out that playlist. And here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.